Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of data, specifically how we can use data like a pictograph to create our own word problems and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we see on the screen a pictograph of favorite fruits. So possibly a teacher might have asked her students, what are your favorite fruits? And you see there are four different options here. We have apples, pears, grapes, and bananas. The thing that we always need to look for in our pictograph is our key. So our key is going to typically be at the bottom, and it's going to give you a number, an equal sign, and then the picture that's being used. We need to know how much each of those smiley faces represents. In this case, each smiley face represents one vote, but sometimes a smiley face might represent two votes, five votes, even ten votes. It just depends. So let's go ahead and put some numbers next to all of these. And so we've got for our apples, it's got the most. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just going to put ten right here. Because when I'm looking at this picture, I don't want to have to count that every single time. So if that's ten, that makes this a seven, because that's three less than ten. Grapes are pretty easy. That's simply two. And then I've got six bananas, because that's one less than my pears. So how can we use this information to create some word problems for us to solve? Well, first we can simply have some comparison word problems. So we might say, how many more? And that's going to compare two of the different categories. And I'm going to say these, are, I'm going to say how many more voted for, the only thing we need to keep in mind when we're writing a how many more problem to compare is that the first one needs to be greater because that's the one you're always going to use first voted for apples than, and let's say, pears. So if I wanted to uh, write that as a number sentence, I could say, well, apples and pears, so that's 10, and I've got 7 pears, so then my answer would be 3 if I needed to solve it. I could do another how many more. But this time, I'm going to say how many more voted for. And then I'm going to use bananas. Now watch, when I choose bananas, that means my next one has only one option. Because remember, the first number you choose has to be bigger than the second number you mentioned. How many more voted for bananas? Well, bananas has got six, but there's only larger than one other option. And that's my grapes. So we just need to make sure that your first number is always bigger than your second number since these are subtraction problems. And I'll say 6 minus 2, and that's going to equal 4. If we want, we can do a little bit of comparison problems like we just did. Or we can also do some addition problems or some summing problems. So we might say how many, and I'm just going to say students, I'm going to pretend these are students voted, how many students voted for, and then let's go ahead and just list a few, pears, and let's say bananas. So what I need to do here is instead of how many more, I'm not subtracting, how many students voted for? I'm just adding these two pairs and bananas. So my pairs is seven, and my bananas is six. So add those two up, and you're going to get 13. And then finally, let's look at uh, one final problem we can write. If you're ever going to see a lot of information like this, it's probably going to say how many students were there all together, or how many votes were there all together. So I'm going to say how many votes were there in all. So that in all, I'm going to put it right over here, that in all, that's going to be a big clue that I'm going to add, but I'm going to add everything. I need to put them all together. So that's going to be 10 plus 7 plus 2 plus 6. So this is going to be 17, add 2 is 19, and 19 plus 6, well, that's going to make 25. 